cells, and introduction. The AP Bio exam is coming up, and if you find yourself looking at a diagram like this one of an animal cell and thinking to yourself, how am I going to master all of this material? If you're feeling overwhelmed and nervous, then this video is for you. I'm Mr. W from learn-biology.com where our mission is supporting you in your success in AP Bio. That means a four or a five on the AP Bio exam and an A in your class. Please sign up for a free trial on our website, learn-biology.com. We guarantee your success. Describe the basic structure and fundamental parts of cells. Cells are the basic unit of life. They're the basic unit of structure and function in every organism. In terms of their own structure, they have a membrane which separates the cytoplasm, all the living material inside the cell, from the cell exterior. They always have genetic information in the form of DNA, the double helix, and there are systems that maintain and replicate the cell as a whole and the cell's genetic information, its DNA. One of the most important systems is a system by which the genes in DNA get transcribed into messenger RNA, another nucleic acid, and that messenger RNA is read by a particle called a ribosome and translated into proteins. Proteins are all important. They're the workhorse of the cell. And one of the most important proteins are enzymes. Enzymes control the cell's metabolism. Other proteins might be embedded in the cell's membrane, and others might even be exported from the cell. At learn-biology.com, we understand why students struggle with AP Bio. It's a hard course, but we have a plan for your success. Watch this series of videos and then do the interactive tutorials and AP reviews on learn-biology.com and we guarantee a four or a five. See you on learn-biology.com. Compare and contrast prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells. Among living organisms, there's a great divide between the prokaryotes and the eukaryotes. Here's what it's all about. Prokaryotic cells are small and relatively simple. They have no nucleus, their chromosome is circularized. And what that means is that there's a loop, the beginning and the end meet up. They contain extra chromosomal pieces of DNA that are called plasmids, and they're found in two of life's three domains, the archaea and the bacteria. Eukaryotic cells are larger and more complex. They're found in the domain that has their name, the eukarya. They have a nucleus, they have multiple linear chromosomes. So here they're shown over here, and you can see the chromosomes here. They have a beginning and an end. And those chromosomes have DNA that's associated with proteins, which is different from the simpler DNA packaging that is found in the prokaryotes. Eukaryotes have mitochondria, and the presence of that organelle is the defining feature of the eukaryotes. And they have many membrane-bound organelles. Membrane-bound means surrounded by a membrane. Want to learn more? Sign up for a free trial of the website that guarantees your AP Biology success, learn-biology.com, and watch this next video.